but ultimately it, we just had a greater need and it was more valuable for me to be able to pull out of that and go more all in on coaching our clients, or sorry, our agents, um, and, and helping the entire field grow uh, than just seeing how many policies I could personally sell uh, in a week. So that was a very difficult transition for me. Um, and it, you know, the, what, what, did, what did I change that made the biggest positive impact in that is I changed my vision from being short term to long term. So how do you have a transition from having a short term gain perspective to having a long term vision? So the transition from short term to long term vision is very difficult. And it's very complex to answer like in a, a, a pretty vague, like general sense. But I think the majority of people are very short-sighted. They're very short-term in their goals. And unless really they've read about it, listened to it, or have someone really teach them about the value of, of thinking more long term, then they may never even you know, make that transition. But ultimately, some of the things that we've, we've talked about with um, distractions, with patience, you know, this all ties into the fact that when you have long-term vision and when you have a long-term goal, then you have an understanding that there will be short-term failures and mistakes along the way. And so having more of a long-term vision enables you in the moment when something's happening that's, that's not good, when there's an obstacle in front of you right now, it gives you the ability to kind of step back and say, okay, you know, how does this fit into my long-term goal, my long-term vision that I have, and then be able to handle it more rationally. And then also when something does go wrong, when you do have a failure, realize that, you know, micro failure, like, you know, losing the battle, not the war, that, that the, that's a very real thing. That yes, this is a setback today, but in the long term of my vision and my goal, this is just a tiny little bump in the road. But when you're short-sighted and all you're thinking about is you know, today and this week and this month, then those things can, can feel devastating and they can feel paralyzing because you had all your energy on like this one thing. Um, we see that a lot in sales when people are going after like the one big account and they're not going after like all the singles and doubles along the way that when that one big account doesn't go through or when they lose it it's the end of the world because there's not there's nothing else to fall back on but when you have a longer term goal and vision then you know that it takes singles doubles triples and home runs throughout the process that when all of a sudden you know you lose an account or you don't get a sale it's just like no. Nah, I've got 10 other ones that I'm working on right now that I know I'll get, you know, some of those and I'll make up for this and you can keep on moving. Um, but, you know, the transition, it's, it's not easy. Um, and I think that it takes, you know, having a mentor uh, or a coach, uh, someone you can talk to that's been through that transition before, um, can be incredibly uh, helpful and insightful in kind of, you know, giving you some examples in their life. Like, man, I used to think this way and you know, this is what that caused. But when I started thinking about things at broader and bigger scale, I realized that these little things just really don't matter and can point out those things that they're seeing in you that can really, really help. Kind of like, you know, if, you've, if you're in a minefield and someone's been through it before, you can kind of follow their path so that you don't hit any of the uh, uh, explosives. <laughs> You want to hit as little of explosives as you can in life. And if you can follow someone that's already been through it, then it's always going to help. But I think that in and of itself, having someone that can um, tell you stories from their perspective of things that they've gone through and the, the transition in their life um, will be tremendously helpful in you going through that process because it's not easy, it's difficult, um, but with the help of somebody else, I think it's going to be a whole lot, um, a whole lot easier to get through.